Hello and welcome to Addis News Hour. I am Daniel Kasahun with the news. Elections are taking place today in Somali Horror Radio Zone, Bule constituency, where the sixth general election did not take place due to security and logistical problems. Southwest Ethiopia People's Referendum has also been kicked off to decide statehood. Chief of State uh, Somali Region Muftafi Mohammed has casted ballot this morning in the Gahabur town polling station. Similarly, residents of Haro Region State are casting to elect their representatives for the national and regional parliament. The election in the southern region, Gedeo Zambule constituency, is also underway from early this morning. On the other hand, Southwest Ethiopia's People's Referendum has also been kicked off to decide statehood. Scholars say the formation of new governments based on the successful outcomes of the sixth general election would have great impetus to withstand foreign aggression. They also highlighted the occurrence of elected government in place signals a direct message to anti-Ethiopian elements to refrain from their ill deeds and intentions to challenge sovereignty of the country. Let's take a look. The last three years in Ethiopia has seen lots of successes and challenges. The success of the government has gone to the extent of winning Nobel Peace Prize, mainly due to the peaceful engagement with the Eritrean government. Whose goodwill, trust and commitment were vital in ending the two-decade deadlock between our countries. The major challenge it faced was stabbing at the back from the TPLF terrorist group in which shamelessly exerted against the Ethiopian Defense Force. All in all, the incumbent was experiencing both opportunities and adversities. Sometimes it was sailing its boat in devastating tides, another time more or less in a settled wave. Scholars in the field say the formation of new governments based on the successful outcomes of the SIGS general election would give great impetus for the emerging cabinet withstanding lots of challenges including foreign aggression. Following the formation of newly elected government, the loyalty and sovereignty of Ethiopia will get better strength because there happens to be a government of the people. Foreign aggressors will think twice before dealing with publicly elected government. Their fight will not be with the government but against all the over 110 million people of the country. Their attempt to indulge Ethiopia into irreversible chaos and disintegration will not be achieved when the elected government and the public act in harmony. The major thing is the coming government has to take its right position to lead the country to its rightful place. When the enemies try to fight the new government, it would be hard for them to penetrate, for the people of the country defends Ethiopia's right. However, the scholars advise the new government to make a paradigm shift in order to bring about the desired change as promised during the election. <laughs> Being elected may not be enough unless the incumbent steers the wheels of the government to the right direction, making all the necessary gear shifts to make great stride. There is high expectation from the public and this has to be addressed well. All good opportunities have to be exploited well in order to win the diplomatic stage. A lot of work is needed to ensure Ethiopia's prosperity. The scholars also suggested foreign powers to be abide by principles of democracy before suggesting other nations to exercise democracy. Only three days left to form new government in Ethiopia. In line with this, the country's politicians as well as ordinary citizens expect the new government to address a range of issues, particularly in the socio-economic and political fronts. Also, forum being organized by the Office of the Prime Minister tabled issues that have to be addressed by the new government. During the discussions, texts drawn from academics, military, security, justice, finance, and many others took part in the discussion. 
በመንግስትና በህزب መካከል በሚገባ ቃል ኪዳን ለሚመሰረት መንግስት መدرسአችን It is a big success. We reached a historic moment that we are going to establish a government based on a promise agreed between government and the people. High value should be attributed to this. The success of a government depends on its acceptability by the people apart from such issues like the strengths and efficiency of its institutions. The trend so far is an epitome that our culture of democracy is showing some progress because we are going to form a government that has passed a peaceful election. Planning and Development Commissioner Fizuma Sefa for her past said the new government shall reassess major macroeconomic issues. It should also work to make Ethiopia Africa's beacon of prosperity through market-led economic policy. The government shall ensure faster economic growth and ensure fair and inclusive economic climate in the country the assignments of the new government on the economic front can be summarized into three points first comes ensuring social justice second it should be a priority to ensure fast economic growth in line with this the government should cautiously avoid irregularities created while ensuring fast track economic growth and also creating favorable conditions for causing a stable macroeconomy. Citizens shall largely participate in development process, some in bringing the development through investments and others through using job opportunities created through investments. In addition, citizens should get equitable job opportunity, education and health service, infrastructure development as well as equitable economic gains. Political scholar Randall Nguse suggested the new government to avoid ethnic-based political structure in the country. Talking to ETV English, Randall said the new government has to consider Ethiopia's long-time desire for prosperity. Kasanjani reports. When one discusses the development of democratic institutions, it is important to keep in mind the government's effort to establish new democratic institutions for the first time in Ethiopia's history. Lack of efficiency in existing institutions or even the absence of strong democratic institutions has negatively affected the performance of the federal system in its struggle to accommodate diversity. Following the Ethiopian constitution, the government is ready to establish a parliamentary democratic state. And that is said when the government of Ethiopia forms it ought to be with the aim of the prosperity of the nation. And with establishing a system, noting any ethnic lines and networking should be avoided. Democracy is, uh, you know, a uh, multi-party system. You know, you, you can see now. You know, at least, you know, Prosperity Party, uh, you know, secured majority vote, not total, majority vote. But other political parties also, they're exercising, you know, their rights to, uh, to have a power. This is the important milestone because you, you, without a multi-party system, you cannot, you know, secure diversity. Ethiopians are ready now to form new government. You see, to form new government. So Ethiopians expect a lot. I think the first expectation should be is forming the system. We shouldn't rely on individuals. We shouldn't rely on some unnecessary network. You know, all works, all division of labors should be based on system. This system, again, should be based on independent institutions, responsible, you know, responsible uh, officials, you know, including the House, you know, including the House, including the House of Federations, should exercise, you know, their rights, their responsibilities based on the Constitution, based on their promise, you know, already they have promised a lot. So they have to come to the point. So we don't expect a kind of passive discussion 
as usual, business as usual before. We don't expect that because there are a lot of problems. According to the existing Ethiopian constitution, member of parliament shall only be governed by the constitution, the will of the people and their concerns. The scholar father noted that striving for unity is the way to the development of the nation. The political appointee from other party members and independent candidates in the Orme region and at the Ababa city administration is a sign of a great job, something that has to be doubled at the federal level, according to Ndala. Regarding the new government, we, uh, government as we can say, because all regional states are forming governments, you know, since last week, since last week. So, you know, so concerning our unity, concerning our development, all Ethiopians, all political parties have their own, you know, sake, their own, you know, role. So the new governments should include, should give attention those roles of, you know, different groups, including political parties. So we have to appreciate Oromia, for example, includes OLF in its, you know, new government. We have to appreciate that. You can see Addis Ababa administrations includes two political parties, you know, two political parties, Amara National Movement and uh, e e e Justice, uh, Social Justice uh, Party you know, social justice party. So we have to appreciate that. So this should be included in the federal government. You know, we, we have to recognize the role of all Ethiopians, the role of all, unless we work together, unless, you know, we are exercising the democracy together, you know, we cannot bring, you know, the, the necessary outcome so as to enhance the national interest of Ethiopia, so as to, you know, make our unity strong. Again, even so as to avoid adversaries. Ethiopia is set to form new federal government on Monday, where the ruling prosperity party won the majority seat in the parliament. <laughs>
Southwest Ethiopia's People's Referendum, as well as election underway in a few parts of Ethiopia. That's all for this edition. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and stay safe.